Today, we're going to talk about how to overpack a number of products effectively without overusing the packaging materials. We'll explore why effective overpacking is important to prevent damages in transit and the three key principles of effective overpacking. There are three overpacking principles proven to have a positive impact on reducing damage rates. Keep these in mind when overpacking a product. Number one, the product must be completely immobilized without void spaces in the product packaging. Two, the product needs a shock absorbing buffer zone around every face with high risk points like corners specially protected. Three, the outer carton must be able to support the weight of the product. Before we start packing, we'll discuss the common materials used in overpacking and what you use them for. Bubble wrap. This can be wrapped around the product to protect it or used as void fill. X-pad. This recycled paper is used for cushioning products from damage and used as void fill. Foam corners or edge protectors. Protect the corners and edges of products from damage by absorbing impacts. V-board. These solid board edge protectors add rigidity when overpacking. They can also be used to create a frame around a product or change the shape of the pack. For example, to turn an awkwardly shaped item like a chair into a square shape to make it easier to pack into an outer cart. Remember that a product needs to be immobilized correctly without void spaces in the product packaging. Take this flat pack trolley as an example. You'll see when I open the outer box, there's a large void that hasn't been filled. This increases the risk of damage to the product as it can move around inside the box. The space would need to be filled with X-pad like this to immobilize the product. Follow the same principles to pack a consolidated box of numerous items. Before you begin, you'll need to choose an outer carton. Choose a carton that's around 30% bigger than what you would need to pack the items. This is to leave room for the cushioning materials that create the buffer zone around all sides of the items. The box should be 70% full of the items and 30% void space filled with cushioning materials. The outer carton must also be able to support the weight of the product. When overpacking consolidated items, don't push the items into one corner. Instead, put the items in the center of the box and fill the void space around each side of the items and above the items so they're floating on a bed in the middle of the box. The packaging material you will use to cushion the product will depend on the weight and type of product. As these boxes are less than 20 kilograms, I've used X-pad to cushion the products. The principles are the same for single item shipments. Here we have three different items of different sizes and weights. We'll start with overpacking this small box. Before I begin packing, you'll notice I've chosen an outer carton that's around 30% bigger than what I need to pack the item. This is to leave room for the cushioning materials that create the buffer zone around all sides of the item. As the product is 10 kilograms, I'm using bubble wrap to create the buffer zone around the product. Next, we'll overpack this medium box. As the product is 15 kilograms, I'm using X-pad to create the buffer zone around the product. And finally, we'll overpack this long heavy box with a product weight of 25 kilograms. 
I'm using self-adhesive foam corners and edge protectors to create a buffer zone around all faces of the product. To give the item extra rigidity, I'll run these V-boards down the sides before packing it in the outer carton. Now we'll put the product into the outer carton. Hopefully this video has been helpful in demonstrating the importance of overpacking effectively. If you follow the overpacking principles discussed in this video and overpack efficiently, you'll be able to significantly reduce the chance of products being damaged in transit. By doing this, you'll reduce returns, save money, and ensure your customers are happy. Remember, the outer carton needs to support the weight of a product, should be 70% full of the product and 30% void fill like XPad, foam protectors or bubble wrap. The packaging materials you use to cushion your product will depend on the weight of the product you're packing. Please get in touch with Hazel4D if you need any further help with overpacking your products.